Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be going through my intentions, goals for January and sort of mapping out my planning for the month of January. What I've done so far is just write down the days from the 26th, which is today, up until the 31st of next month because I'm going to be basing this around the cycles of the infradian rhythm and how I plan based on that. So I know that I will be finishing this full cycle pretty much tomorrow. So it means from Monday the 28th, I will be on a new one. So I did do a video recently showing, you know, how I've planned my time off. This has since changed because we have had new restrictions and we're heading into lockdown number three here. So I will be basically coming back from Galway on the 29th. And that means that I'll be back to work pretty much around then. I have marked in the dates and the weeks in black and now I'm going to add in what I believe will be the different infradian rhythm cycles. This is just something that you will get better at over time. Because I'm highly introverted I will notice the times when I'm in the ovulatory phase because I will be much more communicative and much more willing to do social things than normal. So that is something that I can figure out myself and then obviously the menstrual period I know because you'll be on your period. But in between those then we have the follicular and the luteal phases, which are more so trial and error. So they're a bit looser in terms of the length exactly, but I can have a overall idea of when they'll be. So I've marked those in. The next thing that I'm going to do is just write down the different types of activities that I want to be doing based on different areas of my life. So in the first phase, which is the follicular phase, it's good to do things like planning and brainstorming and creative problem solving. And one of the particular goals that I have for this month is to um, completely do one particular project and have a submission for a conference during that time. So I have the dates marked in for the submission and I'm going to add in the different things that I need to be doing first of all for that. So project planning, um, reading papers. problem solving, brainstorming. Then in the ovulatory phase, it's a good time that I should be talking to my supervisors um, as well as anyone else that I need to talk to for the project. And then also just doing some more of that creative problem solving because it will still be a good time with the rising estrogen creative problem solving. Then during the luteal phase, this is gonna be a good time for me to do any analytical work. So um, just general programming, modeling, analytics. And then towards the end of the phase, it'll be a good time for me to start writing up the paper. And similarly, the following time then we have the menstrual phase, that is going to be a good time to continue writing up the, the paper because I'll be reflecting. So during that time, doing the more sort of introductory or concluding material is good during that time. So before it's good time to do methods and results sections. And then the following time, it's better to do the more intro-y and concluding sections. So that's basically one big goal that I have for January is to submit a conference paper the next thing that i'd like to do is launch some things for daisier so during the follicular phase then it's a good time to be planning um for daisier brainstorming generating any planner um templates The next time then it's a good time to be talking to customers, organizing meetups and running co-working sessions. The next time then it's going to be good to do any of the actual programming. So this is something that I've been finding it difficult to find time to want to do. And the main reason is that I say it at the beginning of the month when I'm really not in the mood to do it. Whereas I will be more so in the mood during the luteal phase to get some of that done. 
So work on tools, programming, website. And then lastly, during the mental phase, it'll be a good time to reflect on the progress and set new goals. Okay, so that is day zero. I'm gonna just move this over. I'm gonna have all of these to be career-based first, and then I want to do other ones in a separate thing. So drama, we have, this will be a good time for me to plan classes and to brainstorm the actual growth of the school. Then during the ovulatory phase, it's going to be a good time to, again, talk to customers, um, do film content if I need to, um, that is pretty much it, or like have meetings as well for the staff. And that's pretty much it. During the luteal phase then, it's gonna be a good time for me to do any admin work needed. Um, the payroll, um, payment processing, all of this annoying stuff that I hate doing, but I will enjoy at that time. And then lastly, in the mental phase, it's gonna be good to reflect on the past month's progress. So these are all sort of related. Lastly, I'm gonna add YouTube in here. Follicular phase, obviously it's gone time to do planning content, um, brainstorming content. So also what I mean is to do content based around planning, but also to plan my content. And then during the ovulatory phase, just gonna be a good time to film videos, um, more so vlog type videos will be a good time to do that. During the luteal phase, it's gonna be better to do editing videos, make thumbnails. Actually, I'm gonna add into ovulatory phase um, communication of like my brand because that'll be a good time to do any extra things like getting myself out there, doing podcasts, anything like that, I should fit into there. So back to the luteal phase then, it's gonna be a good time to make content based around work. So more so content that doesn't involve me talking as much, but is more so based around specific productivity um, and getting things done. Okay, and then lastly, menstrual phase, good time to make reflective content like this and goal setting content. And then also to actually reflect obviously on the month as well and the progress that I've had. So this is messy. I do plan on cleaning this up during the planning type video things that I'm gonna be doing at the beginning of this next phase. But I hope this makes sense for how it's it's gonna be organized. Um, so I then want to just do the same thing. So I'm gonna copy some of these things over onto another page and just sort of work on other planning things. So first thing that I want to do is sort of physical and mental health stuff. So in the follicular phase, it'll be a good time for me to plan uh, routines as well as do more creativity routines. Um, and then also to plan my exercise and do more uh, aerobic based exercise. Same for ovulatory in terms of aerobics. Um, so meal planning, I'm gonna add to follicular phase as well. And I suppose I need to add some time in every week for shopping. Um, so food shop every week. So I'll just add that in as a little X. So 
So that's something that needs to be more of a habit then will be meal prepping and and doing the sort of shopping necessary for that. And then, yeah, I feel like everything else, once it's all planned properly in the follicular phase, everything else should be fine because I'm going to be planning this to go well with the other phases. So that's something that I'm going to plan next week or yeah, next week when I'm doing my planning. Um, relationships then. So I think again, this is just going to be adding things that I need to plan into the follicular phase. So I'm going to add plan activities for the month add to calendar try new things find new recipes okay because in the follicular phase the type of work that's being done is more creative so it means that there's not as much time spent during the day working specifically so it's a good time to do all of this extra planning that can then lead you to have a much better life for the rest of the month so I think that is a good thing to do so for relationships obviously it's best if I do meetups during that ovulatory phase and then you know I could also think about doing um like have the meetups in the in the luteal phase be more work-based so doing co-working with friends um or doing some sort of activity together that is suitable for that time. Okay. And then, yeah. And then the last category that I want to add here is recreation. So I want to be planning recreation around the different phases. So I think during the follicular time, it's a good time to be on Audible and Masterclass during and as well doing things like trying new things. So that is something that I'd like to do during that time. Then during the ovulatory phase, I would like it to be more like friendship, like hanging out with friends, family and and with Jack then the during the luteal phase I think the types of things that I enjoy doing are a bit different so during that time it's a nice time to play chess it's a nice time to do like sort of puzzles and things like that it's also a nice time to listen to true crime I found so I just want to try and organize my recreation a bit better so that I'm not just like doing mindless things um, and then also I do find planning content enjoyable for recreation it's also a good time to do any sort of decluttering and organizing. So that's something that I can add into home. And yeah, just general, like that kind of deep cleaning stuff is a nice way to spend your time. So I can also add actually into drama. I'm just realizing I can do organize papers. I can add that into the luteal phase. So decluttering and then lastly in the mental phase it's a nice time to do reflective things mindfulness um and i like reflective content so michelle b is a great one for reflective content so she'd be one of my favorite youtubers there and it's a good time also i do enjoy watching like vlog content during the loop during the ovulatory phase so i'm just adding that in as well and I think that is pretty much it. So this is me sort of forming that loose plan based around the different phases and trying to do the things that make the most sense during that phase. That is pretty much it for this loose plan based on the different phases and sort of you can see the intentions that I have to be submitting a conference paper, developing a platform for days here and getting some initial customers based on that. For drama, it's all about just sort of getting organized really and starting to get a monthly plan involved because that's something that I don't have at the moment so that is just something that I really want to work on and also to start having times for planning things you know basically just organizing when I'm going to be doing the different things for the drama school and similarly is getting onto a schedule for YouTube so actually if you'll notice a lot of my goals here is that I'm I'm missing a schedule for these things 
and during the physical and mental health stuff as well like I want to be on a good routine for the different times and same way I want relationships and recreation to be planned into my daily activities so that is I guess my overall goal for January will be getting a good schedule. Okay I've just decided the word of January is going to be schedule because that is definitely something that I want to have a regular system. That is my overall goal for this year is to just develop a good system that supports me well and I'm hoping that this will just be something that I end up doing really well so let's hope for the best. I would like to get back into more like creative bullet journaling because like pretty much all of my stuff is gross at the moment like it just isn't cute at all and you can see my handwriting in this video is not cute at all so I'd like to do more of like that kind of video in my follicular phase so hopefully again you'll see that pretty soon thanks so much for watching thanks to all of my wonderful members and I'll see you all in the next video